sisters and friends, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Carla. I'm the Director of Education and Partnerships at NeedyMeds. And today I'm going to explain how you can help your patients save on their healthcare costs with NeedyMeds. Before we get started, I'll offer a few tips so you can make the most out of the presentation. First of all, you can ask questions at any time by typing them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know I will reserve answering questions until the end. If I don't get a chance to answer your question, I'll follow up with you by email. I will provide my contact information and the contact information from NeedyMeds at the end. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel. And you can find a copy of my PowerPoint slide deck and other reading material I thought you would be interested in in the handout section of your control panel. In this presentation, I'm going to cover what NeedyMeds is, what are the healthcare savings we offer that can help your patients afford or save money on their healthcare expenses? We'll talk about the drug discount card and other cost savings options for your patients I think you'll be interested in. I'll mention the other resources we have for healthcare professionals and some easy ways to stay in touch with us and up to date on healthcare topics. So let's get started with what is NeedyMeds. NeedyMeds is a national nonprofit co-founded more than two decades ago by retired family physician, Dr. Richard Sagal, and his friend, Libby Overly, who was a medical social worker. Rich is still the NeedyMeds president. On the screen is our formal wording of our mission statement, a statement about how we achieve our mission, and our vision statement. But simply put, NeedyMeds connects people to programs that will help them afford their healthcare expenses. And we do that free and anonymously, through our helpline, 1-800-503-6897, and our website, needymeds.org. On needymeds.org, you will find all of the different categories on ways to help your patients save on meds under that patient savings tab. You'll find prescriptions, prescription savings under prescription with prescription assistance programs and through our $4 generic drug discount program. We have a free, low-cost, and sliding scale clinic, our coupons, rebates, and more section. We have a, a section that provides programs for diagnosis-based assistance. And we have a new section, the COVID-19 Resource Center, Center, which is full of programs for those experiencing financial hardships and struggling with healthcare expenses due to the pandemic. You can find assistance with medical transportation costs, retreats, camps, recreational programs, and scholarships. You can find government programs listed by state, and of course, a link to the Needy Meds drug discount card. And it's no accident that the top right, excuse me, the top left-hand box at the part of the, on the top of the screen is dedicated to prescription assistance programs, because those are one of the most popular and effective ways we connect people to savings. So prescription assistance programs are programs that are usually supported by pharmaceutical companies and most of the time offer free and some of the time offer deeply discounted prescription drugs, usually name brand to those that qualify. Of course, not every drug will have a prescription assistance program. When a program is available, eligibility requirements and applications will vary from program to program. One common requirement is that the patient healthcare provider usually needs to be involved by providing a prescription, signing the application, and submitting documentation. So let's dive in to how you can find prescription assistance programs and other healthcare cost savings resources on the NeedyMeds website. So bear with me while I transition out of the PowerPoint and onto our live website so I can demonstrate. Now, when this live site pops up, hopefully you'll agree that it's chock full of information. So I encourage you to check it out further when time allows, because we're going to spend most of today's webinar checking out what's under this patient savings tab. Before we dive into that, though, there's just a few resources I want to point out. On the top right-hand side, the third icon from the left is a link to our YouTube channel that I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation. We recommend subscribing to stay up to date on the latest videos, webinars, and presentations. 
You can also see what, what, what other webinars are coming up on the bottom right-hand calendar of events. And please check out the Advocates tab. This is particularly use, useful for providers and healthcare professionals. And I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time talking about that tab a bit later on. So let's return to search our search for cost savings. Now, you can always do a search for a medication to see what savings programs are available by typing the name of the drug, brand or generic, into this drug search bar on the top left-hand side where my cursor is blinking. If you are specifically looking for prescription assistance programs, click on that patient savings tab. This is where all the prescription assistance programs are listed. And you can search a number of ways. You can search by the company and program name, which is probably the least common ways to search, but you can also search by the brand name of the drug. Now that's a hyperlink, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And when I do click on that, you'll see the first thing that pops up are a bunch of icons. What these icons do is they actually tell you what type of medication, excuse me, what type of assistance is available for that medication. Are there cost savings programs available, such as prescription assistance programs or a coupon? Is there more information avail avail available about that medication through support pages, drug videos, or through drugs.com? So let's do a search for a na name brand drug called Eliquis. How I would do that is I would scroll down to the convenient A to Z index and click on the letter E for Eliquis. When I do that, an alphabetized list of medications starting with the letter E pop up, and then I'll scroll down to see if my medication is available. When I find it, I'll go ahead and click on that hyperlink, and there are those icons again. So the three on the far right indicate there is more information available about Eliquis through drugs.com, drug videos, or support pages. The two icons on the left indicate that there are cost savings programs available. This icon indicates there's a coupon, and this icon, the first one on the far left, indicates there, that there is at least one prescription assistance program available. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and it'll bring you to the prescription assistance program page. Now, I'm gonna make the screen a bit smaller, don't worry about reading the text. I'll enlarge it in just a second. I just wanted you to see a snapshot of what the prescription assistance program page looks like. There it is, and hopefully you'll agree it has all of the pertinent information you'll need to know about this program. Let me make the screen a bit bigger so we can talk about what's on, that, on this page. So right at the top, I can tell you in this blue bar, because it says program one of two, that there are currently two prescription assistance programs for Eliquis. Now, the reason I say currently is because programs change all the time. And that's important because if you're having trouble finding a prescription assistance program for a medication for one of your patients or clients and you can't find one today, of course, hopefully, we'll be able to refer you to another cost savings program or to use our drug discount card. But we also recommend checking our website again in the future because we are regularly adding new prescription assistance programs and updating other cost savings programs. So if you don't find one today, be sure to check back. In this case, again, there's two prescription assistance programs. Now, when there are more than one, what we do is we list the program that offers the most assistance at the top and then the lesser assistance at the bottom. And again, hopefully you'll agree that all the pertinent information about this program is on your screen. So right at the top, you'll find the name of the supporting or sponsoring program. And right underneath that, you'll find their contact information, which is usually in the form of a toll-free helpline. That's really important because if you or your patient or client has any questions about the program, you're going to want to contact the program directly as opposed to needy meds. Underneath that is the program applications and form section where you can usually find a link, like here, to the application itself. If the application is not there, you'll find more information. Underneath that, you'll find the medication section, which lets you know what medication this program offers a cost savings program for. 
And underneath that, really importantly, and I think the section you're going to go right to checking out is the eligibility requirements section. Now, as I said in the beginning, often eligibility will vary from program to program, but it is almost always based on three factors, insurance status, income, and residency. Now, a couple of things I want to say about this. Don't make the, the assumption that just because your patient or client does have insurance that they won't be eligible because that's not always the case, as you can see here, so it's worth checking out. Also, as far as residency, oftentimes the program just needs to know the person lives in the United States or is being treated by a doctor in the United States. Citizenship or documentation is often not required. We will be as specific as we can about what the residency requirements are, but don't assume if you're working with an undocumented, popu undocumented population that they won't be eligible. And again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to the program directly. Now, as far as income goes, sometimes it is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. But often, and I'll show you the example in the next prescription assistance program, it is based on a certain multiple of the federal poverty guidelines. And because that's so common, we put a convenient federal poverty income calculator right here. So if you need to check out where your patient or client falls, you can calculate it yourself in the eligibility requirements section right by clicking on that federal poverty level income calculator. And I also want to point out, because I often forget to point this out, under the patient savings tab, we'll get to this a little bit later, in the government program section, you can also see a link to the federal poverty guidelines as well. That's just in case you wanted to know where else you can find that information. So again, scrolling down, underneath the eligibility requirements section, you will find the application section and the medication section. And these are important because they'll let you know details like if and how the doctor needs to be involved, how long it will take to find out if the patient is eligible for this program, where the meds will be mailed, and the details for reapplying. Always check out the additional information section because that's where we put other pertinent information that does not fall neatly into the other categories. So moving along, returning to that patient savings tab, and I want to take a moment to remind you, if you do have a question, you can feel free to type it into that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Now we're returning to that patient savings tab, and we're sticking to the Save on Prescription box. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the hyperlink for the $4 generic discount drug program. Now this section is a directory of all discount programs available for generic medications at major retailers. Now, although it's called the $4 generic drug discount program, most will range in price between four to up to $15 for a 30, 60, or 90 day supply. Now, as I scroll down, you can see there's a number of ways to search. You can see if there's a program available for a specific drug, you can see a list of stores or pharmacies that do participate in the $4 generic discount drug program. Or you can search really broadly to see what's available in your state. I'm going to go ahead and click on the state of Arizona. And the results indicate that in Arizona, there are four stores or pharmacies that do participate in the $4 generic discount drug program. And all of the pertinent information is now on your screen, including the store or pharmacy name with a hyperlink, the program name, and I think what you'll be most interested in is the program column on the far right-hand side, because that will let you know exactly what the medication will help your patient or client um, to, to get. And again, as you can see, although it's called the $4 generic discount drug program, most will range in price from between four to up to $15 for a 30 or 60, 30, 60 or 90 day supply. And as you can see, it does include all of the major national chains, but it also includes more regional stores or pharmacies. So it's definitely worth checking out. 
Now, when we return to the patient, tab, patient savings tab, I'm going to go ahead and click on another really popular destination on needymeds.org, which is our free, low-cost, and sl sliding scale clinics database. We actually have more than 18,000 clinics in this category. And to make searches easy for our users, we've broken it down into four subcategories, medical clinics, dental clinics, as well as mental health and substance addiction clinics. Now, they are all set up similarly. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna, I shouldn't say they're set up similarly. They're set up exactly the same way. So for purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and click on medical clinics, but no, the three other categories are, will all look the same if you do a search in those sections. So here's our medical clinic section. And because this section is so broad, it, like I said, it has over 18,000 clinics and just over 16,000 medical clinics. I suggest doing a pretty narrow search. What I mean by that is don't search by state because you'll get probably hundreds of clinics. I would do a search by zip code. So I'm going to go ahead. I use this example quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type in the zip code 94974. And let's say the individual has access to transportation. That's all I would need to type in, click search. And there are currently nine clinics within five miles of the 94974 zip code. And there is all of the pertinent information about those clinics. On the second column on the left, you'll see the name to the clinic, contact information, and a hyperlink to their site, if one is available, which it usually is. In the center, you'll see the eligibility section. That will let you know details like who can be seen at the clinic, what fees can the patient expect to incur, and does the staff speak other languages? Now, the far right column titled details is also important. Clinics all offer different services, and sometimes they offer additional services in, ad in addition to, for example, medical treatment. Some offer mental health services, some offer specifically pediatric care, some offer Im immunization, so it's worth checking this out. Now, although we do pride ourselves on the information being accurate and up-to-date, we absolutely recommend that the patient visit the website or call the clinic to confirm details that are important to them. Now, you'll also notice that we stress that even more due to the pandemic because clinics may be will be um, adhering to new policies for the safety of their staff and patients. So I think in light of the epidemic, not only is it important to call the clinic to confirm details that are important to the patient, but also to see what, what procedures the patient now has to adhere to. One other thing I wanna point out before we move on from this clinic section, is the printing option. Now, let's say you wanted to print out the list for your patient or client, you would just hit print, easy as that. And this will print out all of the nine clinics included in this list. But let's say you browse this list and say, you know, I really think that there's only three my client would be interested in. You'll go ahead and click on the box above the map. And that map is exactly what you think it is. It's a hyperlink to a map in case the patient isn't sure where to go. So you'll click on, this box, choosing the few that you think your patient will be interested in. And at the top, you'll choose the print all instead of the print option. This will generate and print a list, including only the ones you choose. And that's a great option for healthcare professionals that want to provide their clients with a list of clinics for them to choose from. Okay, let's move on from that section, returning once again to that patient savings tab the bottom left-hand side, I want to talk to you just a little bit about our coupons, rebates, and more section. This is where you can find prescriptions and over-the-counter medications or supplies for which there is a coupon, a rebate, a savings card, a free trial offer, or a sample. Just like the other categories on our website, you can search a number of ways. So you can search by the name of the drug, you can search by the name of the product, 
But in this section, you can also search by category, which means medical category. Let me show you what that looks like. When I click on the search by category, there's an alphabetized list of medical conditions. What you would do is find the medical condition specifically that you're looking for. Sometimes you're going to go ahead and search broadly. For example, let's say you were looking for um, let's let's do a general search. Let's say you're looking for assistance for a a patient of yours that's having trouble with a diagnosis of hepatitis. Well, you can search narrowly to see what cost savings programs are available for hepatitis, but you can also search more broadly in the liver health section, for example. We also have broad categories for women's health and men's health, so check those out. So let me show you what the results will yield. I'm going to go ahead and click on asthma. And there are those icons again. That's really helpful because if there is a product name or medication listed, it will also let you know if there is another cost savings program available, such as a prescription assistance program, or is there more information available about that product or drug through the additional information hyperlink or through support pages, for example. And here's a snapshot of what the listings look like. We updated this section within the last year or so because it used to just be a paragraph of information that we got feedback from users indicating that was a little bit cumbersome, a little bit hard to read. So instead, we've broken it down into bullet points. We also added our manufacturer, the manufacturer's offer directly to the link to their website. And we put a really convenient way to request to get your own needy meds drug discount card and of course a little bit later we'll talk about how your patients can use our drug discount card to save on their health care expenses now aside from the prescription assistance programs the second greatest source of savings is through our diagnosis based assistance programs and you guessed it to find those you'd return to that patient savings tab and click on that diagnosis based assistance program section in the top middle now, this section is different because for the most part, it excludes medicine. What it does include instead are other necessary medical expenses, such as, for example, medical supplies, medical equipment, or expenses like wigs, house cleaning services, or assistive technology. Now, you can search a number of ways. You can search probably by the least common program name. You can search to see what program is available geographically. Or most commonly, you can see what program is available by diagnosis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now here on this page, you'll see the A to Z index. And because this category on our website is so large and so populated, just like our prescription assistance program section, we have this convenient A to Z index again. So let's go ahead. And again, this, this index is an A to Z index of medical categories. I'm going to go ahead and click on D for diabetes, and then I'm going to scroll down to see diabetes in the list of medical conditions that start with D. Now, I like to use diabetes since because, excuse me, because not only is it such a common diagnosis in our country, but it's a great example of a diagnosis that requires a lot of expense in addition to medication. A lot of times, diabetics have to pay for things like testing strips or needles or syringes. Now, because diabetes is such a large category, I've broke, excuse me, we've broken it down to another, and a bunch of subcategories. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the general hyperlink for diabetes, just so you can see what the results will yield. Currently, there are 86 diagnosis-based assistance programs for diabetes. And this is a snapshot of what those programs offer. On the left-hand column under the program name, you'll find just that, the name of the program and a hyperlink to that program. The category next to that is a summary about that program. And the two right columns of what you'll be most interested in, the services that this program provides and the areas of service. So now, as you can see, a lot of times, Programs will help patients afford things like medical supplies 
or assistive technology, but it varies greatly. For example, this program helps the patient afford respite care. These programs help the patient get access to a service animal. So it changes really dramatically from program to program. Now, the areas of service, you'll notice you'll keep seeing the word national. That means that regardless of where our, the patient resides in our country, they will be eligible to apply. All of the national programs are listed first, and then the programs are listed alphabetically by state. So always be sure to check out what your patient can be connected to on the national level and then see what's available in your particular state. Now, let me make this a little bit smaller and return to that patient savings tab. And as you can see, we have a bunch of other categories as well. I'm not gonna spend tons of time diving into those because I hope at this point, you have a sense of how to navigate through needymeds.org. One thing I do want to stress that if you need some assistance, you can always reach out to our call center counselors. The phone number is on the top right hand of our website, which is 1-800-503-6897. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, because we're in Massachusetts, and we do have Spanish-speaking counselors. So under that patient savings tab, the other categories I pointed out in the beginning, the new category we have dedicated to those experiencing trouble affording their healthcare expenses or financial hardships due to the, due to the pandemic. That section is growing all the time, so it's worth checking regularly. Because getting to and from a doctor's office or healthcare facility can be burdensome, we do have a section dedicated specifically to assistance with medical transportation costs. You can also find retreats, camps, recreational programs, and educational scholarships for those living with a particular disease. And I also want to point out this government program section. Now, in the beginning, I mentioned that you can find a convenient link to federal poverty guidelines. And that's under the prescription assistance program pages. But the reason it's also under this government program section is because oftentimes state sponsored healthcare programs, which you can see on the top of this page where my mouse is hovering, often the eligibility requirements are also based on income levels. So to make it convenient to find out whether or not the individual patient or client is eligible, we put this convenient PEV federal poverty guidelines link right here. So in addition to listing all of the state sponsored programs on this government program section, you'll also prime, find pretty exhaustive information for Medicare and Medicaid. So if you're working with recipients of those benefits and you have questions or they do, please don't hesitate to check out the government section program of our website. Now, under that patient savings tab, and you saw, as you saw in the beginning, you will also find a link to the Needy Meds drug discount card. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of our live website, and I'm going to go ahead and return to the PowerPoint so I can talk to you about how your patients can use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save on their healthcare expenses. So we're waiting for that screen to pop up. Oh, there it is. So let's talk about our drug discount card, which offers those not using insurance or that don't have insurance a way to lower the price of their medications. Like other drug discount card, the user takes our drug discount card, which can be in different formats. It can be a plastic card. It looks like a credit card. It can be a paper, something you printed from our website, or it can be a phone app. So you take the card to the pharmacy, match it with a prescription, and save. Now, there are other drug discount cards out there, but the Needy Meds drug discount card is free and anonymous. We do not track the user's personal data, so confidentiality is guaranteed. There is no registration and no enrollment. There are no residency requirements, and the card does not need to be activated. And the chances are the user will find 
a pharmacy that accepts the Needy Meds drug discount card because it is accepted in more than 65,000 pharmacies nationwide. You can use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save up to 80% off the cash price of prescriptions. You can use it to save on over-the-counter medications or supplies written as prescriptions. And you can even use it to save on the human equivalent pet meds you may need to purchase at, and buy, if you pick those up at the regular pharmacy. You can also use the Needy Meds Drug Discount Card to save 40% off medical equipment. So the big question is, who can use this card? And the simple answer is anyone. The only rule is it cannot be combined with insurance. So if the patient is uninsured, they can use the card anytime. If they do have insurance, they may choose to use the card instead. And a patient may do that, for example, if they find that their medication is not covered under insurance. Maybe they find themselves in a coverage gap. Maybe, sorry about that, guys. Let me click back. Maybe they find themselves in a coverage gap. Maybe they have a high copayment or high deductible, which is quite common. Or maybe they exceeded um, the cap for drug coverage for that year. So now, Let's return again to the website so I can show you how to get your drug discount card and the tools for saving money. Now, as you saw a moment ago, you'll see a link to the Needy Meds drug discount card under that patient savings tab. But you will also find a link to the drug discount card in this box on the left-hand side with the red arrow that said get that says, excuse me, that reads, get your Needy Meds drug discount card. They both take you to the Needy Meds Drug Discount Card page, where you can print out our downloadable PDF, which hopefully some people will find helpful. You can download the app for free from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. You can complete this form and choose a design so we can mail you a plastic drug discount card. You can mail us a request with a self-addressed stamped envelope to our P.O. box. And of course, a reminder, you can always give our call center counselors a call, again, at 1-800-503-6897. Sometimes it's just easier to speak with an actual person. Now, at the bottom of this page, you will find the helpful pharmacy search. And that's exactly what it sounds like. This is where you can find pharmacies in the patient's area that accept the Needy Meds drug discount card. Now, because it's so broad and it's accepted in more than 65,000 pharmacies, I suggest doing a narrow search. So I'm gonna do a zip code search. And let's say again, like we did with the clinic, let's say this person has access to transportation so they can go five miles within that 80906 zip code. And here are the results. There are currently 27 pharmacies within five miles of that zip code. And again, I hope you'll agree that all the pertinent information is on your screen, including the name of the pharmacy, the address, and a phone number. You'll also see a helpful map. Sometimes that's helpful if you can't quite figure out um, exactly where the pharmacy is located. And again, you can print either all of these pharmacies by choosing the print all option, or like the clinic section, you can click on the ones you think your, your patient will be interested in only and choose the print select, selected option to narrow it down for them. So now let's say your patient has the Needy Meds drug discount card. They know if pharmacies in the area accept it. The final step is finding out how much will the medication cost using the Needy Meds drug discount card. And to find that out, you would click on the drug pricing calculator on the left-hand side. To find out what the medication will cost, the patient will need to know four pieces of information. The pharmacy zip code where they would like to pick up the prescription, the prescription name, the dosage, and the day supply, meaning is the prescription good for 30, 60, or 90 days. So the idea is that with the pharmacy search, and the drug calculator, the patient can find out where to pick up the medication and what they will be paying before they head out the door. One quick disclaimer, the drug pricing calculator, the prices will vary from pharmacy to pharmacy and from week to week or day to day. So please check it out. Um, make sure the patient checks out what the price is before they're planning on going to the pharmacy 
you know, either this afternoon and within the next day or so. And although the drug pricing calculator offers a close estimate, it is only an estimate. It will not be accurate down to the penny. Now, again, if you don't have access to the internet, reach out to our call center counselors and they can find out for you, your patient or client, the list of pharmacies and again, how much the drug would, would cost at those various pharmacies that accept the Needy Meds drug discount card. So as promised, I wanna switch out of our site again and return to that PowerPoint presentation so I can talk to you about additional resources that we think are helpful for specifically healthcare providers. And again, I encourage you to submit any questions you may have by typing them into that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. So let's, get, let's just talk briefly about the additional ways we hope we can help you to better help your patients. The easiest is to simply be aware of needy meds and direct your patients or clients to our website or helpline. If you have other colleagues interested in learning about needy meds and the resources we offer, I would be happy to conduct a personalized or customized webinar. Just send me an email or a message. And today's presentation is being recorded. You will receive a recording of it via email from the GoToWebinar platform at the conclusion, but we will also convert it into a video to be posted on our YouTube channel. I pointed out the Advocates tab, which is right next to that Patient Savings tab on NeedyMeds.org. That tab is where you can sign up to receive our newsletter, which is called Vitals, program update emails, print materials, and more. And under that same tab, you will see a link to our Patient Assistance Resource Education, PAIR, course and exam, which is a web-based, self-paced tutorial on how to find healthcare savings programs on needymeds.org. We do provide a certificate of completion for those that finish the exam. So we usually charge $15 for PAIR, but it would be my pleasure to waive the fee for today's attendees. If you're interested, go ahead and send me a message. We also encourage you to please register for and share our upcoming webinars. And I'm gonna show you a snapshot of the ones coming up in the next month or so. And again, you can sign up for webinars under that calendar of events on the bottom right hand of our homepage. We hope you sign up under that Advocates tab to receive also our monthly e-newsletter. Again, I mentioned Vitals. And we also have our monthly webinar announcements. You notice that on the top right, of our homepage, along with our YouTube icon, you will see a bunch of social media icons. That's where you can um, follow us on our social media platforms, and I'll point those out again in a moment. We can, of course, provide you with an unlimited supply of our drug discount cards and most popular brochures because they're not doing anyone any good sitting on our shelves. Let me know if you're interested in having us create a customized drug discount card with your organization's name and logo. This is completely free of charge and includes an unlimited supply of plastic cards as well as a PDF version so you can share it electronically. We do encourage you to add Needy Meds to your website and please post about us on social media. If you're a nonprofit organization or you have an upcoming free event you want to get the word out, about just send me an email with, with the information and we'll add it to our calendar events and share it on our social media platforms. We can also provide you with the tools you need to incorporate information on prescription assistance programs directly onto your website with PapShare. Now, for those of you that do help patients actually apply to prescription assistance programs, you may be interested in checking out PapTracker. PapTracker is a software we created that eliminates the administrative burden of manually submitting and tracking prescription assistance program applications. If you're interested in learning more, send me a message. We would be happy to provide you with a demonstration. You can also license NeedyMed's data and add it directly to your website. Now you'll notice that the path tracker and license our data options at the end of that list on this slide has a little asterisk next to them because those are the only two 
options or resources that do have fees involved. Okay, moving on. Here are some of our upcoming webinars that I do hope you check out. Um, and again, you can find those under the on the calendar of events on the bottom right hand of our homepage. And we would deeply appreciate it if you would share this with the population you serve. Either include these webinars in an email or post about them on your social media platforms or if possible, on your websites. I promised um, to share with you some easy ways to stay in touch with needy meds. So I've mentioned this many times that on the top right of needymeds.org, you'll see a bunch of icons, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. You can also find us on LinkedIn. With the rest of the social media icons, you can also, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can sign up for the Needy Meds blog. It's called the Needy Meds Voice, where you can read timely, provocative pieces on healthcare-related topics topics. Now, under the Advocates tab that we just talked about, you will find our subscription services. Here again, you can order print materials such as our drug discount cards and brochures and sign up for email alerts about program changes. Under that Advocates tab, you can also sign up for upcoming webinars. I did say you can find upcoming webinars on the calendar of events on the bottom right of our homepage, but you will also find a link to upcoming webinars under that Advocates tab. You, can, you will find a link to our monthly newsletter, Vitals. And again, you can check out archived editions or sign up so you'll be a Vitals recipient every, mo every month. And you can also learn about becoming a NeedyMeds volunteer ambassador. So I do see some questions coming in, which is great. And as I get to those questions, I want to leave up our contact information as promised. If you're interested in receiving a bulk supply of drug discount cards or brochures, send an email to my colleague, Alana. Any questions regarding this webinar, you can reach out to me directly, Carla, that's Carla with a C, at needymeds.org. Please Peruse through our website, needymeds.org, to further check out the educational and savings resources we offer. And again, our NeedyMeds toll-free toll -free helpline counselors are available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And we do have Spanish-speaking counselors. So let's get to some of those questions coming in. And I'm so pleased that I see so many people interested in taking advantage of some of the resources I offered, which is great. So one of the questions coming in, you mentioned you can use the drug discount card to save on pet meds, how? So I love that question because we did put together a less than 10 minute video on how to use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save on pet meds. You can find that by going to the Needy Meds YouTube channel and typing the word pets into the search bar. So let's see, another question coming in. Can people with Medicare Part D apply to prescription assistance programs? Well, the answer is it depends on the sponsoring organization. Some will let you apply. Others will determine that on a case-by-case -case basis. The great news is that you will see an answer to that clearly in the eligibility section of the prescription assistance program listing on our website. And a reminder, any questions about the prescription assistance program, don't hesitate to reach out to the program's toll-free helpline to ask them questions. Another question about what time the Needy Meds call center is open. We are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but keep in, time, keep in mind, again, we are located in Massachusetts, so we're on East Coast time. So let's see what other questions coming in. A great question about the Needy Meds drug discount card, which is, is the Needy Meds drug discount card valid for all medications? So the answer is, you can attempt to use the Needy Meds drug discount card for any medication. And what quote unquote attempt means is you can give us a call, our call center counselors at 1-800-503-6897, and they can do a search in the drug calculator to see if a particular medication does have a cost savings program attached to it. Um, excuse me, if, if it does have a cost savings option attached to it 
by using the Needy Meds drug discount card. Or you can always bring the drug discount card to a participating pharmacy and provide the, the pharmacist with both the prescription and the drug discount card. The pharmacist can check for you whether or not the Needy Meds drug discount card will afford you the savings. Here's what our statistics show. 85% of the time that our drug discount card is presented to the pharmacist, a discount is offered, and usually the discount is 50% off the cash price of the medication. And when I say cash price, I really mean the, of the price you'll be paying out of pocket, not through insurance. It's also worth pointing out, I think, that 5 to 10% of the time, the DD Meds drug discount card offers a better price than insurance. Now, although that's a low percentage, it's worth checking out. So I would say always compare, either through calling our counselors or the pharmacist, if you can get a better price using the Needy Meds drug discount card. Thanks so much for those questions. So it looks like, let's see, um, we're getting tons of requests about participating in some of the um, partnership opportunities you saw and um, people interested in getting some of the drug discount cards, which I'm thrilled about. So we do try and keep the question segment brief. As I said, if I didn't get a chance to answer your question, I will absolutely follow up with you by email. Or if you need it answered right away, please don't hesitate to reach out to our call center counselors. With that, thank you so much again for taking time out of your busy day to learn more about Needy Meds, and we do hope you keep in touch. Thanks and take good care.